was 14 years old when I left. Coming from such a small place in Sydney is, is crazy to, to think of where I am now. I feel like there's a lot of opportunities out here and uh, we just felt like uh, it was the best place for us. It was a big adjustment, but you know, uh, I learned a lot on and off the course, so I feel like it was really beneficial in my move. I'm just grateful, I'm grateful for basketball in general. Josh Green is the number seven recruit on ESPN 100 rankings, committed to the University of Arizona for the fall. He's one of the best guards in the U.S. The big slam by Josh Green. But his journey started back home in the suburbs of Sydney, Australia. My dad was offered a job out here in America, and uh, you know, we just thought it was the best, best thing for us. You know, I got an older brother, a uh, little brother and a younger sister. We all felt like America was the best place to do it, especially basketball-wise. Both of Josh's parents played basketball professionally in Australia before moving the family to Arizona, giving him that love of competition. Josh loves sports since he was born. All he ever wanted to play with was the ball. That's all he ever played with. He played soccer for a long time. He was able to try a range of sports. But basketball ran in our blood. You know, I just felt like it was best for me to, to play basketball. My dad and mom both coached me in Australia, so that's the kind of the stage where it narrowed down to basketball and Australian football. And then obviously, you know, I had to pursue basketball as we moved to America. You know, you can't play an Australian football out here. Josh also attributes a lot of his success to his older brother, who plays basketball at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Me and my brother, you know, we were competitive no matter what we did. You know, it might be a game of basketball all the way just to a game on the PlayStation or something like that. You know, we always went at each other. And I think uh, you know, that's why I really look up to my brother. You know, I feel like I wouldn't be who I am today without him. Josh hasn't been back to Australia since he left four years ago for the U.S., but can't wait to get back soon one day. I can't wait for the, the day I get back to Australia and just be able to be in Australia again. So cold. No, no. <laughs> This is nothing like Florida. This is going to be the last time I see this with Arizona. Welcome to the ESPN High School Basketball Showcase. It's one of the biggest games of the year as IMG takes on perennial power Oak Hill Academy. Green champs at home at the rim. Josh Green, super athletic. The bounce, the wingspan, the Aussie. You know, it's just crazy to think four years ago I was just a kid in Australia and now I'm playing on ESPN. Michael was trying to attacking the guests, trying to feed the bigs, trying to get them into the game. Oh, Josh Green! Beating Oak Hill will be a huge step toward their goal of playing in the national championship tournament. Josh Green and IMG prevail. Josh's style of play defines his leadership on the team. His numbers fill up the stat sheets as he gives whatever is needed every game. But the only numbers he cares about are wins. When we looked at, at him before he came, I just loved the fact that he was unassuming, um, he was a good teammate, he could score in bunches, and he would defend. You know, that's the type of kid we want, and that's exactly what he embodies. You know, I like to lead just, you know, just by example, you know, uh, making a defensive stop. You know, I, I think that kind of triggers our, our offense. Uh, I mean, our, just our whole team in general, you know, it kind of gives us energy. And, you know, it makes the other players work. Green driving, looking, gets the easy lay in off the window. It was a big change for me coming to America, you know. You know, I feel like it's a, it's a big difference and it's definitely a big step for a lot of kids coming to, from Australia. You know, it's, it's more of a transition game, getting up and down. Just America's the more dunking and everything like that. So, you know, I hope a lot of other Australian up and coming kids can have the opportunity like this. It's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime and, you know, you know, I, re I really hope it can happen. Off the glass! And how about that for a Sports Center highlight? Josh Green! Be important. Tighter there. Big chest, big chest, big chest, big chest. There you go. 
Use your arms, use your arms, use your arms, use your arms. Back up, back up, and get your leg up high. Me being on to live with my teammates and, you know, training with them every single morning, you know, I think it, it not only makes me, but also my other teammates, you know, I think it makes us one step prepared. And while Josh has grown his basketball skills, he's also grown into adulthood. I think by being with the team, it helps us just be able to talk to each other and get the opportunity to, you know, to live by themselves and to just take care of themselves. You know, most other people have their parents taking care of them. Traveling to road game tournaments is normal in the prep basketball world. And with their great record comes national media attention. Josh, favorite Australian dish? Uh, meat pie. Biggest adjustment academically since you arrived in the States? Uh, honestly, the work is a, it's a little bit easy in Australia. It's a, it's, it's a lot harder, especially math-wise. Best subject in school? Uh, English. Last movie you watched? Uh, the Bird Box on Netflix. If you had a choice, game-winning shot from a three-point line, a block, or an assist, what would you take? Uh, whatever the team needs, but I'll probably take the, the, the shot. I feel pretty comfortable shooting the three. If you couldn't play basketball, what sport would you play? Australian football, definitely. Why? Yeah, it's what I grew up doing, and I love it. It's, it's just a great sport. There it is, the Aussie, Josh Green, on the clock. Even though their basketball schedule can be hectic, Josh still has time to be a teenager. I like to be seen as a, a chill type of person off the court. I love playing the PlayStation. I love playing FIFA and 2K, I'd say. So does the rest of my team. So, you know, it's, it's good. You know, I, I just like to stay happy, uh, just enjoy life. And I like to be more humble type of person and, and keep to myself. As the year progressed, IMG dominates the competition. And Josh has played great, averaging 16 points as IMG has built a 28-1 record. <laughs> They arrive in New York for the championship tournament, relaxed and confident. Hey, Fred, tag all of us, Fred. Every year, the best high school basketball teams in the country come to New York to seek the throne. The whole season has been building up to this, playing in the national championship tournament. It's only the second appearance for IMG, and they've never won a game in the tourney's history. And their first huge test is the defending champions. Mont Verde Academy, the same school Ben Simmons attended and won back-to-back -back titles for. But things don't go quite as planned. Oh, look out! This was vicious! Mont Verde extends the lead. As four-time champion Mont Verde Academy opens up a huge lead on IMG. IMG realizes this is their toughest test. IMG with its pressure making it difficult. Bring the steal. Springer off the crossover. IMG in a 13 to 1 run. Josh Green the steal for IMG. Leaving it for Walker. Down as much as 16 in the fourth. IMG cut it to one. And then. Baycott pulls it down. Final seven seconds. IMG with an emotional comeback win. IMG, IMG. You hear the crowd chanting IMG. What does this one feel like? Oh, it's, it's amazing. You know, it just shows how much heart our team has. You know, this is feeling right now. It's what we've been working for all year. With the amazing comeback the day before, IMG now faces number one and undefeated La Lumiere School. Josh Green stepping up for IMG. Josh Green, a highlight waiting to happen, and it's happened plenty today. Here is Josh Green, look out! Robinson Earl ahead to Green! <laughs> IMG has ascended to the top of high school basketball and claimed the national championship. The win is extra special for Josh, as his mother and sister came in from Arizona to share it with him. You know, I sacrificed coming to IMG two years ago. You know, I left my family and everything like that. Except for my, my mom and my sister, you know, it means so much for me. Uh, you know, it shows what they've done for me every step of the way. And it just gives you that extra bit, a little bit of, of pushing games, knowing that they're here in the crowd. So, you know, I love you so much. I love my family so much. I just think it's great. I think it's great for all the seniors, all the boys that work so hard. Great way to finish the high school career. I'm really excited for him. What the Sixers star and fellow Aussie Ben Simmons think about Josh getting by his Montverde team 
and winning the title. I'm happy for him. I, I talked to him quite a bit, so I'm just happy for him. Uh, I'm glad he was, you know, another Australian who could do it. Against America, to see the best possible experience. Uh, you know, they had the best possible in the world. So, you know, when I came over here, you know, I had, I had one goal in mind to get uh, I just offered to go to a cause. But now to see all this happen and everything like that, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's uh, something you really can't explain. With the history-making success of winning the national title now achieved, Josh reaped the benefits of being an All-American player. What's up? This is Josh Green. I'm out here at McDonald's. It's been a great time so far. You know, I love it out here. It's just a great experience overall. You know, right now we got the Jam Fest. A lot of high flies in the clubs, but uh, I'm going to have to take my guy Scotty Lewis in this one. Oh, yeah! Wow! <laughs> The McDonald's All-American game, which has been played since 1977, is the highest honor a high school player can achieve. A who's who of great players have been selected, like Magic, Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, and Ben Simmons. I'm grateful just to be at McDonald's All-American. You know, it's something I dreamed of as a kid. You know, I always used to watch it, even when I was in Australia. You know, I'm, I'm grateful to be the, the second Australian to ever do this. Josh really enjoyed the week as his good friend Nico Mannion, who he first met when he came to Arizona four years ago, was also selected. We met in like the seventh, eighth grade when I first moved over here. Uh, we always used to play against each other. You know, we started off not being on the same team. And then we started Snapchatting, testing each other after that. Eventually, we, we played on West Coast League together. I mean, he's like, he's like a brother to me now. We've spent, I mean, everything, everything we do is pretty much together. Josh Green flushes it down, the number seven player in the country. He'll be teaming up with Nico Mannion next year. You know, it was really just good to get it back out on the call with him, and just we'll progress from that. You know, we got Hoop Summit. The post-high school accolades continued as Josh is named to the world team at the prestigious Nike Hoop Summit game, and with Nico again right beside him. I love playing in the Hoop Summit. You know, it's, it's a chance for me just to, you know, be able to represent my country, have Australia on the front of my chest. So, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. Josh represented Australia for the second time in this big game, and the joy of playing with his best friend will go on as they both committed to play for the University of Arizona in the fall. I committed first, and then I was texting him throughout the whole time, just like, come on, bro. And he kept trying to mess with me, <laughs> saying he was going somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, uh, Arizona's been there since day one. You know, they, they buffed me like four years ago when I was a freshman or something like that. So me and Nico get back on the, out on the court together. You know, like I said before, I think we'll be one step ahead of most other teams. And, you know, just having that chemistry already and that connection. With Josh's great success his senior year of high school, his future is getting brighter. Josh Green, one of the most athletic playmaking guards and scoring guards. I see him like a Zach Levine type. We've had players come over from Australia, play basketball in the United States in the college game, and then certainly into the NBA. Most recently, we've had Dante Exum and Ben Simmons. Josh Green is that next line of superstars from Australia. I think for him, um, he has all the, all the tools uh, needed to play in the NBA in college at a high level. Um, he's got to put the work in, yeah, and I think he'll do that, and I think he, he's dedicated to doing that. I and mean, wants to be great, so you know, I'm excited to see him play. You know, my goal and my dream is to probably play in the NBA, so, you know, I, hopefully that's where I'm at. I just continue to strive for my goal and just take one step at a time.